is up everybody, my name is Carter, also known as Saikut, and you're watching Yaosh Recruits. So in this episode, I'll be talking about being a teacher's assistant, and what it's like being a teacher, and I have to say, I have to give props to every teacher in the world. They are so amazing at what they do, and it's just so difficult, and here's why. So, as some of you guys know, if you're from my channel, I uh, recently moved to a uh, new county um, and a new city and everything and at my new school I'm in all IB classes so they had to cut off most of my like extracurricular activities like gym and stuff so they had to put it in with like um, future educators and then they put in uh, art and they put in world language where I learned Swedish and stuff um, and so my first period is obviously the teachers um, future educators and first period is the ones who go over to the elementary school next door and you go work with elementary students and you're assigned a classroom and you get a, a little name tag and everything and you go there for an entire class period and just help them do whatever they want um, whatever that's going on that day so first period is um, you see our school goes in at 9 their school goes in at like 7 so they're already a quarter of the way done with their school day and I come in at the time that they do math, so I sit there and help them do math. But instead of giving them the good students that need extra help to help them grasp it, they give you the students that they have absolutely no hope in. And so and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to help them in any way possible to help them understand this knowledge. Um, and I'm not going to say any names, but the student I was assigned, I was assigned to three students, and one of them is really good. Um, and I mean wicked smart and then they gave me um, two of the children that need extra help and it's not that they don't understand the math they're they're really good they just refuse to work the first day I wanted to kill myself it was just horrible because I was assigned um, to this kid who absolutely refused to pick up his pencil like what he did is he like he held it up and put his hand on top of it, not like uh, like in a writing stance, he just plopped his hand on top of it, hoping that he would start writing by itself. And he just sat there and looked at me the entire class, and he just looked like he wanted to kill me. He looked like he did not want to be at school. Um, and then, a couple days later, he, um, I go in at the same time um, that he has extra help for math, um, and every Thursday, he's gone, and I'm assigned a new student. And so, the, um, the second student is, uh, he knows everything, he just doesn't have motivation to go. And it's actually kind of awkward because you're in the back of the classroom and the teacher's in front of you, uh, in front of you giving a lesson to the entire class. And then you have one of the students um, that doesn't want to do anything. So you're just sitting there um, just talking um, to them quietly and it's kind of weird talking about math um, in the third grade class uh, I don't I don't really know it, it's really awkward for me probably for them too because they're being pulled out of a lesson um, but I always have to review what that lesson meant so I have to pay attention to the teacher and I have to pay attention to him and I need to pay attention to the clock because I have to leave at exactly 10 o'clock to be able to get back to um, to get the announcements because the announcements at is at 10:05, and I have to be back to see that uh, because it's the one, it's this big live newscast um, at our school that just tells you the weather, tells you the class periods, interesting things, um, and all that sort of thing. So I have to be back for that, and it's the time that I have to check in to make sure that I came back from the school. Um, and so a couple days ago. Um, I was assigned a whole group of good students, and, um, and I mean, these are the kids that I wanted to be in my group, and, and apparently I'm like a new toy for them, because whenever the teacher says who needs extra help, they all, I mean, literally everybody raises their hands trying to get back there, except for the two students that don't want to be back there with me, um, they just stay quiet, um, but it's just remarkable how much of a change it is when you have 
a bunch of good students that want to help each other out and uh, know what they're doing uh, compared to the two students that don't know um, or they do know they just refuse to do anything um, and it's hard because I was the same way um, I, ref I didn't want to do any of the work I, I kind of knew everything I paid attention really well it's just I didn't want to put the work out for for it um, and so I keep wanting to try to tell them this but I don't know how to bring it up to them because they remind me of myself they know what to do they just don't want to work for it and because I was penalized multiple times um, in third grade well not in third grade I would say in second grade um, like it's just really frustrating and I don't see how teachers aren't just wanting to stab students I know that sounds really bad um, but honestly uh, I would want to I'd probably try to kill myself as well um, but not saying that I'm suicidal or anything no quite the opposite it's just working with students is very frustrating and especially with students that refuse to do any work but what can you do um, and it's not like I get any community service out of this I just get a grade um, and at the end of the week you review with your teacher what what you did that week um, if anything changed um, and all that sort of things and it, it's really fun um, to do it I'm not saying that being a teacher is a bad thing it's actually a lot of fun and it's actually kind of easy um, it's just when you get those little um, you get those couple of students that refuse to do any work that's when things get hard on you because um, I have a blast when I go in there because one I'm missing a free period out of school so I can just like it's a free period pretty much uh, I don't really I'm not really responsible to do anything except um, to help these children in any way possible and it's not like the work is hard so and third grade stuff so you've obviously gone through it and it's really simple and um, and it's like shapes and stuff and how shapes work with um like um like uh, vertexes and stuff and all that sort of thing so it's really easy it's just yeah what can you do um so that's pretty much it what's what's it like being a teacher and um with that being said i want you to go out and tell your teacher i don't care if you like them just say thank you because i'm in a third grade class and I have no idea how middle school and high school teachers survive because they have a hundred plus students a day and they're all whiny and stuff um, so they deserve extra props and I can't believe they're doing this for such a low salary they get paid maybe 30,000 a year which yeah it's pretty good but it's not really uh, you can survive off of 30,000 if you actually know how to do it, but Like for me, I just spend all the money I get and right now I'm saving up for a, a PC um, Because I want to custom build a PC and get into PC gaming is the most so Yeah, um, it's not like I'm getting paid like like I said, it's just absolute it, I'm doing this for free and um, It's fun so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, like I said, please go tell your teachers that, um, how grateful you are to have them. Because if they, if they weren't there for you, uh, then you'd have almost nobody there for you. And they're always there to give you support. And I know you may you may hate them, but they are honestly looking for the best thing um, for you. All right, so this gameplay is wrapping up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. It makes me feel better and um, make me feel good and it will really help you out, help out Yash recruits and so uh, if you like me leave a like and um, and if I get a bunch of likes I might continue doing this so uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later